welcome back to what's on my plate so for tonight I'm making sushi a California roll so you can have it for dinner you can have it for lunch and you can have it for an appetizer so let's get started okay so we're gonna make our sushi and we're gonna make California rolls so this is a sushi making kit purchased this from Amazon for my son for Christmas he loves it and so on new year's day we all sat down and we made sushi and it was so much fun and the kit is so easy to use so i have to show you this so it comes with everything you need they have tutorials to how to use them so i'm going to lay all this out but the next step is for us to do is make the rice so i searched high and low finally found sushi rice and there is a authentic sushi rice recipe on the package. Just do it according to package directions and um, that's what we're gonna do. I already have my rice cooked and I'm gonna put it all together so you can see and then we're gonna make our sushi. It's gonna be great. So let's get to the next step. Oh, and sushi rice also is a short grain rice. Okay, so here's a large bowl. And here's my sushi rice. I made approximately two cups of rice. So you take the rice after it's cooked and you put it in a large bowl. So it's sticky rice. This is the rice that you need to make your sushi. So put this in here, get all the rice out. Okay, once all the rice is out of here, we're going to mix it up a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and add our vinegar, sugar, and salt. So I'm going to get the rest of this in here and we'll get to that step. Okay, so now what you do is you stir the rice to get all the steam out. Just, you know, gently stir, mix it. Get the steam out, it's all coming out. You see all that steam? Okay, and then we'll get to the next step. You're probably just gonna do this for just like a minute or so. So the steam comes out. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our vinegar, salt, and sugar in this rice, and we're gonna blend everything together. Okay, so in my little pot here I have just do it according to the package directions. so basically it's three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar four and a half teaspoons of sugar and one and a half teaspoon of coarse sea salt there's also a seaweed um, part on here I did not do that so we're gonna dump this in here just pour it all over and then you're just going to incorporate it into the rice. So just just mix it. Just mix it so it all gets incorporated in here. Okay. And now that we mixed it in here, the rice is done. We're just going to put a damp cloth over it or a paper towel, a damp paper towel. And we're going to leave the paper towel on it until we're ready to use it and until we're ready to use the rice um, and we're just going to let the rice cool as well so I'm just going to set this aside and then I'm going to start chopping up all my ingredients to go inside my sushi so we'll get to that step okay so to get started on my California roll you're going to need sushi nori so if you don't use the pack, the whole pack, because there's a, a bunch of sheets in here, um, you can Ziploc it and save it for another day. So I have this, I have shredded carrot, I have avocado, cucumber, crab, and my sticky rice. And then I have everything set up here and that sushi knife comes with the set and it's super sharp. And then of course you're going to need water because when it says sticky rice, it's sticky rice. So you're going to need to dip your fingers in there so the rice uh, gets off of your fingers. But this is a quick process. It's, um, well, not a super quick process, but it all comes together. After you do the first one, it just all comes together. So 
I'm going to start recording as we're making it. So first thing is uh, to do is get a paper towel and then you're going to oil the inside of the plastic here. So you're just basically greasing it so the rice doesn't stick to it. So that's the first step. Okay, so the sushi rice is going into the one side. You have to put rice on both sides. Okay, so you have to keep wetting your fingers or the rice just sticks, sticks to you. So now you take the stick part and you're gonna push down the rice so you make a little divot. And then you do the same thing for the other side. And then you start filling it with whatever sushi roll you're making. So starting to fill it here with uh, shredded carrot, avocado, cucumber, and then we're going to put the crab on the other side. Of course, I have assistance, assistance from my husband here. <laughs> Okay, and then after that, so before you close it, you have to attach the stick that you push this, the rice down with, and then you close it, and then you clip it. Then you screw the one end, and then you, um, you have to press it to compress the rice inside, just basically pushing it in. Then, now the rice is compressed, then we get the nori. Okay, so it did come with this bamboo to put down. You lay the nori on top, and then you're unscrewing the one end. And then with your other hand, you're going to push the rice out onto the nori. and then you just continue to roll it. Add a little bit of water at the end. And there is your California roll. And now it has this um, plastic mechanism here that you actually lay the sushi roll on and then with your very sharp sushi knife, <laughs> um, you start to slice it. Okay, so there's my California roll on there. And then you just start slicing the pieces. So we're just gonna slice them all up and then we're gonna just make a whole bunch. And then I'm gonna put it on a platter and I will show you that this machine is just awesome and the sushi comes out really good so you just use whatever you want to put in there whatever type of sushi you like there's also a little tiny cookbook in there for beginners and you get your own chopsticks and then you get your little bowl to put your soy sauce in so this is my California roll and it's a great appetizer. So you just roll it out and then there it is. Look how good. Okay, so we're just gonna make a whole bunch and then we'll show you. So if the paper, that's why you're supposed to add a little bit of water at the end so this one kind of came off. But this is a California roll. Thank you so much for watching what's on my plate. I'm gonna put all of them on a platter and I will show you. Okay, so here are my California rolls. They look so great and they taste great because we've been munching on them. So this is a perfect appetizer and it is very inexpensive to make this at home. I still, I made four sushi rolls and it yielded me nine pieces per roll. And look how much um, cucumber and crab I have left and I still have avocado. 
and I still have a lot more rice. So thank you so much for watching what's on my plate. I'll also add the link to the sushi kit in case you're interested in the one that I purchased.